Hello all, today we are going to see cryptographic modes of operation. In my previous video, I have clearly explained the basic concepts underlying symmetric cryptography, asymmetric cryptography and hashing function. In the following videos, we will take an in-depth look at several common symmetric crypto system. Cryptographic modes of operation. This describes the different ways that cryptographic algorithm may transform data to achieve sufficient complexity that offers protection against attack. The major modes of operation are electronic codebook, cipher block chaining mode, cipher block feedback mode, output feedback mode, counter mode, Galio's counter mode and counter with cipher block chaining message authentication code. Let's see first electronic codebook mode. It is the simplest mode to understand but least secure. Each time the algorithm process a 64-bit block. It simply encrypts the block using the chosen secret key. This means that if the algorithm encounters the same block multiple times, it will produce the same encrypted block. If an enemy were eavesdropping on the communication, they could simply build a code book of all possible encrypted values. After a sufficient number of blocks were gathered, crypto analytic techniques could be used to decipher some of the blocks and break the encryption screen. This vulnerability makes it impractical to use ECB mode on any but the shortest trans transmissions. In everyday use, ECB is used only for exchanging small amount of data such as keys and parameters used to initiate other cryptographic mode as well as cells in a database. Let me explain you with an example how ECB mode works. In my example, I am taking hello world as the plain text, secret as the encryption key. First, you need to divide the message into blocks of 8 bits each. In this case, hello WOR can be divided into 8 blocks as follows. Next, you need to choose an encryption key. Let's take secret as in our example and it is also 8 bit long. Now, you can apply the ECB mode to encrypt each block of the message independently using the same encryption key. For example, to encrypt the first block 01001000 in our example, using the key secret, you can use a simple XOR operation as follows. Repeat this process for each block of the message using the same key. Finally, you can concatenate all the encrypted blocks to obtain the cipher text. Have you noted in our example, each block of plain text is encrypted independently using the same encryption key and the same plain text block will always produce the same cipher text block. Therefore, the ECB mode is vulnerable to frequency analysis attack. This is the limitation of ECB and why it is not recommended for most encryption application. Because ECB encryption, each block of plain text independently, it cannot provide any security beyond that of the encryption algorithm itself. This means it is not suitable for application that require strong security such as financial transaction or military communication. So, in my upcoming video, I am going to explain that are more secure than ECB such as cyber block chaining mode or Galio's counter mode. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe, like and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye.